Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for The Dangers of My Heart Season 2, Episode 12. One more episode left. Then we've got two more episodes of this one and one more. I'm very sad. I'm, I, I, it, 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 like, there's so many good shows ending this season and it is just making me so sad. Literally just yesterday, I had to say goodbye to Free Run. And I'm so happy we at least have one more week, one more week with this series, even if it is going to come to its conclusion next week for an indefinite amount of time. Because as you guys have said, there's not anywhere near enough manga content for the time being to get a season three. So I, I will preface this. I will preface this beginning of this video by saying that you guys have hyped this up like there's no tomorrow. I don't know if I've ever, maybe it maybe not like publicized like hype, but like in my community, you guys have hyped this so fucking much. So um, I'm hoping it lives up to the hype. I'm hoping I, I, I am able to agree that the hype was worth it, but it is, it is a tall task because I've gotten a billion comments, a billion discord chats, all talking about how good this episode's gonna be. So we'll see. We will see what I think at the end of the day, whenever we tear through this, I'm sure it's gonna be good. There, there has not been a single episode of this season that has disappointed me, even in the slightest, so I expect this episode to keep that trend up as well. Last episode, Ichikawa fought, fought Adachi for Yamada, although as they uh, confirmed several times, the result was already in, no matter what they did at the end of the day. Uh, at the end of the day, Ichikawa was gonna win. It was just a way for Adachi to put his feelings away and a way for Ichikawa to become closer friends so they could finally truthfully understand each other a little bit better. Uh, so we will see how, see if that plays any part into this episode. Maybe Adachi's gonna start helping Ichikawa out or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I'm very excited to see, to see where this episode goes. I have no idea. I, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I really don't. I can't even make any predictions uh, besides maybe a possible confession this episode we will see we will see at the end of the day so per usual feel free to check out the patreon and discord links are in the description for both of those as far as the discord goes we talk about current anime past anime current manga past manga and we talk about non-anime conversations as well so uh feel free to check that out as you wish and as far as the patreon goes you get exclusives and uncuts to all my reactions so feel free to check out either of those of your own will but now without further ado stop straight into the danger of my heart season two episode 12. Ohio. oh mm. New uniforms. Yep. Okay, literally as soon as I said it. He's not interested in the food. He's interested in the new uniform. Yeah. Yeah, you don't just get rid of the cardigans and put on a vest instead. Feel for yourself. <laughs> These two are so awkward. Uh, I wonder if that was like an extra chapter or something that they they tossed in there at the beginning before the OP. I have a feeling it probably was like an extra chapter at the end of the uh, at, at the end of a volume of the manga or something like that. And I will say also beware because I am going to be going uh, and reacting to the full version of the OP and ED after this season and really diving into some of the lyrics and stuff like that. So. Look out for that like a week after this show ends, maybe a little bit more, uh, whenever I'm able to free up some time to get that done. But I absolutely plan on reacting to the full version of the OP and ED. Same thing for Free Run too. If you're interested, if any of you are interested in that at all, I, I will be doing that too. I survived the OP again. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. I've managed to sur survive the OP for several weeks in a row now. I got over that hump that was the beginning few episodes where that killed me every single time i finally gotten over that <laughs> oh mm. that's true golden week i feel like i've heard of the term golden week before hang on i want to be absolutely certain before i start speaking out my ass about something oh okay yeah it's just a it's just a week full of uh of celebrations in japan a week full of holidays <laughs> That info's not public. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, school trip coming up, huh? The 12th. Uh-oh. Does she have something going on that day? I think she does. She- Oh my god. Oh yeah, something is absolutely up. <laughs> Kanzaki's trying to set you up. Does she- that audition they were just talking about because she told Chi that that info is not public is that audition on the 12th the way she looked at it and like reacted i think i think the audition is on the 12th so she's not going to be around for the whole school trip or if, if any of it 
Hey! That's huge! Okay, sorry, I just want to talk about that. My man, my, like, he was nervous about it. You could see the handshake, but he mustered up the courage and went to ask her. That's huge. <laughs> wow. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the way the music, like, started building up for a second and instantly cut out as soon as she interrupted there. Damn. Like, instantaneously just cut. Like, hear the soundtrack building up? <laughs> and then it dies out like that. And... Oh, god damn it. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously on a school trip, you can't have girls and guys in the same group. That's not how that works. <laughs> you definitely can't. I mean, for like the day trips, you can. But also, I just realized this guy, this guy's been, has he been in episodes before? No, that's Ota that's been in the other episodes, right? This guy's got his eyebrows and little forehead wrinkle, make a little smile. Look at that. First of all, that is a whole smile right there. <laughs> anyway, that's not what I was talking about, but obviously guys and girls can't room together. So makes sense that they were looking for roommates and just trying to figure out a group to, that's gonna sleep in the same place. <laughs> yeah, I think she's trying to figure out what she's gonna do about that. I think someone wants to spend the trip with her. Oh, okay, yeah, he noticed immediately she's not acting like herself. Like, being glued to the phone like that, just giving him that simple little smile. That's definitely not Yamada-esque. Oh! There's a real chance this is on her mind. He's still reading that manga, huh? No way a first kiss is gonna happen before a confession. I refuse to believe that is gonna happen this episode. <laughs> the cliche getting soaked. Oh, this beautiful soundtrack, too. <laughs> uh, he's annoyed that he's actually looking forward to the school trip for once. Oh, is that like an elementary school camp book? Seems like he might have really enjoyed school trips when he was younger, with all his friends and whatnot. Uh, is that a call from Yamada? Oh! That's not on the nose at all. That's really not on the nose. I, I want to make sure something just real quick. Ichikawa is reading volume 12 too, right? Yeah, he is. Okay. Volume two. I just wanted to be sure that volume twelve is the volume that has the uh, that has the first kiss. <laughs> of course, she bought another copy ahead of the school trip. So it seems like she has something she's gonna have to leave to go do for the school trip. But she really wants to kiss him at the same time. That's crazy. We're gonna get, no way. We're gonna get a first kiss before a confession. <laughs> I wonder why. She's so gonna tell him that she's gonna have to miss some bit of it. <laughs> Look at them both calling like this, laying in bed. Oh, she sees the little class trip book over there. Oh no. She's she's not telling him because he literally had a a childhood book of the school festival and she or not school festival school trip and she doesn't want to uh, even though she won't I can also see there's a tear on her phone she's definitely crying right now but uh, she obviously like thinks in her mind she doesn't want to ruin the school trip for him by like having to bail and not go to whatever other pre uh uh what's the word um preoccupations that's not the word i don't know whatever um whatever things she already had scheduled to do uh she doesn't want to ruin his trip or anything like that but it, it, this is this is what danger specializes in bringing up a conflict early in the episode and resolving it extremely fucking well by the end of it episode nine is the biggest example of that from season one like episode nine had a really tough conflict that they were going through that they resolved almost instantaneously through some really great communication and i have a feeling something similar is going to happen by the end of this episode and somewhat concerned yeah oh my god 
She is literally crying. I'm sure you're fine, Yamada, I'm sure. Can I stock up again? Uh-oh. Yamada's coming in to help. Oh, there's a little keychain. <laughs> Are they gonna sit these two by each other? Nope, nope. <laughs> Every five minutes. Every five. Oh, hello, Hanzawa. My manga. Okay, she is leaning real close. <laughs> she really wanted that window seat. She wasn't even purposely leaning into, like, Ichikawa. She just really wanted to look out the window. <laughs> Ah, why'd she get all flustered? All right, it's apartments in the middle of rice fields. What's the band like for those? Yeah, I guess that makes sense, their conversation. Like, he, she was just kind of speaking out loud and didn't realize that Ichikawa was hearing her. That's why she was embarrassed. But yeah, that is also very strange. A very high rise, like skyscraper out in the middle of a bunch of rice fields. Very interesting building placement. I'm sure they have some purpose. I just don't know. Like maybe they process the rice in there. I, I couldn't tell you. What? Why? Uh-huh. Oh. Of course she does. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You say that as if Hanzawa didn't see that library scene. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, these two are so goofy. We got more Yamadere there. Um, but that, uh, that's very interesting. I like that. She's giving him a little push while also not giving him a push because she's just making him realize his own resolve and like confirming that he can do it himself. But I also like the assist there that she was warning them like, you two better be f careful here. If she finds out, it's. It's game over. What was Chi looking at? When next one is June 12th. Yamada's gonna have to leave the last day. Either that or she's about to skip the audition to be here with Ichikawa, one of the two. Which we do not want to happen. We don't want her to skip the skip the audition. So hopefully hopefully Ichikawa will catch wind of everything that's going on and help, uh, help mitigate the situation a little bit. Because I don't know what Yamada's going for here. I don't know if she plans to stay like two days of the trip, the 10th and 11th, and then leave for the 12th. Or stay the entire thing and skip the audition altogether. Together. so hopefully that hopefully she doesn't end up skipping the whole thing which i can't imagine they would make her do that in the series yep kind of stuck wandering in the same group there is a lot of deer <laughs> he's getting chased by an army of deer oh my god she passed it to ichikawa <laughs> oh my god these two are actually so goofy no! Oh! <laughs> Blinded her there for a second. <laughs> Just left the Yamada to the wolves there. Oh, hello, Chi. Why is she looking so serious? <laughs> now she's getting some good pictures with him. Yes. Yeah. God damn it. Interrupted right before Ichikawa could probe her a little further on the information. I think that decision she's talking about is Yamada made the decision to not go to the audition. I'm pretty sure that's what she's referencing here. And that's why Yamada's not so enthusiastic. Because she wants to be here with Ichikawa. She does, but at the same time, she's missing a big audition opportunity. I'm pretty sure that's what she means by decision. <laughs> Yep, it's clear Yamada just has not told Ichikawa about anything going on. But still? But still? I want to know how she feels. I like that him and Kanzaki are all buddy-buddy. Meguro Ward. Did I say Meguro? I'm pretty sure that was Megu- Me Oh no, it is Meguro. Okay, I got it right. I thought I totally pronounced that wrong for a second. Yeah, because it's with food. That's why she's in a good mood. Yeah. Especially when it comes to her job. Especially when it comes to her job. How did that happen? There was literally people talking. Oh, they said thanks for dinner. My man was in thought so deeply, he didn't notice everybody leave. And nobody said anything to him either. Oh, we're heading into the boys' bath. <laughs> oh, is that Arachi? 
some battles of course he did it was definitely not accidentally at all what on earth this is definitely not actually realistically happening what the f is happening what the f is happening <laughs> they ripped his towel off. What the actual hell just happened? Oh, getting to look at Yamada? Is that what they're... <laughs> Doesn't feel right getting to look at Yamada? <laughs> Man, Moiko was really taking that opportunity to get a good look at Yamada. <laughs> Hmm. I love how she is like the least perceptive person of all time and yet now she's like on top of it with Yamada and the fact that Yamada is skipping out on an audition here. Like she is on top of it. She's realizing everything. She's asking her if she's having fun at the trip. I do like this though. She's been such a comedy relief character for the entire series. It's good to see her actually like care for her friend for once. We've seen moments with like Moiko, Serena, all the other characters, but it's really, she, she has really been reduced to a comedy role, which I think she does a great job at. I don't think she necessarily has to be anything more, but it's good. I, I am enjoying her having a little bit of more impact here in the fact that she clearly is worried about Yamada and can clearly tell Yamada is not fully enjoying this trip as much as she would if something like her audition wasn't on her mind. Is it time to call Ichikawa? I think it is. Oh my god, phone! Wait, what? Kimi Iro Octave AD. She's playing a role in that manga she loves so much. It's getting a live action adaptation. Like she's got an audition for a role in like one of her favorite all time. Like she like said earlier on in the series, she didn't read much manga, but she fucking loves this series. And she got a, a possible audition for a role for that series. And she is missing it to be on this trip with Ichikawa. Oh God. I did not realize it was that serious. That audition is huge for her. What is it? What does AD mean? I, it does, is AD referring to a specific role? That she's auditioning for? I'm not sure. Oh, AD stands for audition. <laughs> Duh. AD, it's the Kimi, Kimi Iro Octave Audition. Obviously, that's what that stands for. Maybe. I still could be wrong about that. I, I don't know. It just sucks because this is her decision. She, she Ichikawa had absolutely no choice of even trying to make an impact on this decision her decision was made entirely by herself because she wants to spend this trip with ichikawa and she wants to have that kiss scene with ichikawa and whatnot and it's tough because in my mind she shouldn't skimp out on this but at the same time i can see why she would they don't this is their last middle school uh school trip together and there's a good there's a possible chance they won't be in the same group or anything like that uh, when they get into high school, so you got to do it now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, a very tough choice here because it, in my mind, you don't skip the audition. It, it does not matter what is happening. If she told Ichikawa she had an audition, Ichikawa would be would understand a thousand percent. He would he would probably tell her to go. Like he would he would be on the side of telling her to go to the audition. Don't miss that, whatever it may be. He would absolutely tell her to do that, but she hasn't told him, so he has not been able to impact her decision-making like that. And she is putting Ichikawa above that. That is to say, if she is 100% confirmed not leaving on this last day. I think it's very possible. Actually, I don't know. The way they're shaping it up and the way Chi is like nervous for her makes it seem like she's skipping out on this audition to be there with Ichikawa. But I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna have to see how this episode plays out at the end of the day. All this rambling is gonna be explained by, <laughs> is going to be answered and explained by the end of this episode anyway. So it doesn't do me any good to keep rambling anymore. Uh, but yeah, at least you know my point of view. I, I think she shouldn't miss out on this. If she would just communicate to Ichikawa what's going on, he would 1000% tell her to go do it. They will have pr plenty of other opportunities to go on dates Whatever it may be. Oh my god. God damn it, Kan Kan. Oh, hey, Adachi. Dear god. Yep, Yamada got the hell out of there. Oh my god, Yamada's running. <laughs> yeah. 
You just saved Con Con from ruining their moment there. Are you sure you want to delete this event? Ah, she is. Yeah, I was right on the money. She was getting rid of it. She was going to completely skip out on this huge opportunity for herself. I don't know if she's playing the main heroine. Heroine? That's not how you pronounce that word. Main heroine? Uh, I don't know if she's going to play that role in this or if she has a more minor side character role. But either way, getting a role in a series she loves so much such as this, you can't pass up on that. You just can't. Ah, man, I need Ichikawa to step in here. I need him to step in so badly. She's clearly broken up about it too. She cannot decide. Clear as day, she cannot decide. <sighs> Nope, it's the audition. He's also trying to figure out what AD means. <laughs> oh, bye bye, manga guy. Oh my god, Kanzaki's finding out where all the rooms are. <laughs> and he went back to sleep immediately. That was the most random interaction of all time. so goofy the way he's just hanging off with the rope oh my god i love manga guy too much he actually might be my favorite character he's up there for sure oh is she it, it sounds like she's oh my god Yep, she's practicing for... I don't know if that's practicing or if she's practice. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that certainly sounds like a line she would she would say to Ichikawa. But yeah, she's yoinking that straight from the manga. It's gonna be interesting. She's either practicing her lines for her audition. May okay, you know what I think I think would be the great be the best the best possible outcome. Best possible outcome is she says tomorrow, because this is a three-day trip, she says this to Ichikawa tomorrow, because that is the best experience she will ever get for understanding what it's like to be in that position. If she, if she is rehearsing directly from the manga, lines for her audition, there's no better way to practice than to get the actual experience than to go up and say this line to Ichikawa. Don't know if that's going to happen, but um, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. It's interesting how she's still, she is like very heavily contemplating or is basically already kind of decided, but just can't finish it off. Like decided she's not going to this audition, yet she's still practicing at the end of the day. Ah, uh, she is really going through it right now, man. Me too, more than anyone in the world. I'm just saying I feel the same way. <sighs> wow. This is that, this is intense, man. She is going through it. Holy sh**. This poor girl. Are you? I, 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 I don't, I don't think you are. Yep. She made the choice to not go to the audition. It's all clicking. So the reason she got that 12th volume was not because she was preparing for a kiss scene with Ichikawa on the trip. It's because she was pre preparing for the audition. That's what she was preparing for all along. It's all finally clicking in Ichikawa's head here. Audition. And she's skipping it to be here with you. Exactly. I fucking knew. I knew Ichikawa would get it instantaneously. I knew the second he it all clicked in his head, he would immediately want her to go. I knew it. I fucking knew it. That is just the amazing person that Ichikawa is. The second he realized that she was having any sort of second doubts or anything, or even like the situation clicked in his head, he immediately went on the offensive and is like, no, she needs to go. Like, this is important. Not at all. She's here for you. She's here for you. Because she saw saw the school trip, thought knew that he was excited, like absolutely did not want to did not want to miss and ruin it for him. Once again, it's all it's all this is just all a miscommunication here, which I'm, I know they're going to resolve. But that's what it is. This is just a clear cut miscommunication between the two of them, because Ichikawa is one of the most supportive people ever. He would he he probably wouldn't give it a second thought if she went. He would be absolutely all for it, all for supporting her in a heartbeat. He would not care in the slightest. A kiss or a confession can happen anytime, anytime. Mm, we're finally getting the full frame there. 
Oh my god, he's literally crying for her. This is this has got to be one of the most sympathetic men of all time. I swear to god. I'm so stupid. I want to tell her. Oh my god, he's running. It's goddamn happening. Here, I was thinking about a kiss. Yep. Oh my god. Out of the way! Sorry, Sensei! We gotta go! You've seen firsthand how seriously she takes her goddamn work. You have seen firsthand how seriously she takes it. Oh, this soundtrack too. Oh man, it's happening. It is it is so happening. Oh my god. Hello, Sensei. Oh, that like god did that soundtrack kills me every time. Oh my god. I don't know why, but just the way it was ramping up, but like him like realizing it's sprinting, the intensity of the situation with that beautiful soundtrack from episode six. It's the second half of a soundtrack that has been played before in season one, but season six was the first time they played that second part of it, and oh my god, is it so good. That that soundtrack and It Begins are my two favorite soundtracks in this series. And it's not even close. Those two are my those are two of my favorite soundtracks of all time. Holy shit. It's so good. Anyway, let's continue. I actually want to just get that whole scene again. I don't even care. I'm getting that whole scene again. Just like the fact that he cries for her every time. He has got to be one of the most empathetic and sympathetic people I've ever seen. He can get emotional for somebody else on such a deep, deep level. It's it's actually insane how 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 good of a person Ichikawa truly is. He's just such a good soul at the end of the day. This I don't agree with though. I don't think you're so stupid at all. Sure, you you like you didn't pick up on the signs because nobody told you. That's not your fault at all. That like I don't want to sound like an asshole. I really don't, but this conflict is not Ichikawa's fault at all. This is very much Yamada not communicating to him. Like that, that's at the end of the day, that that is where the crux of the problem is that each no, there was no communication or no information told to Ichikawa whatsoever. Eventually, he put the pieces together, but that was on his own. There was still no communication telling him what was going on. He would have never figured it out if he didn't get all these bits and pieces and he wasn't already a smart guy, smart enough to put the pieces together himself. He would have never figured it out if he like wasn't like that already. I'm putting this in the nicest way possible. This is Yamada's fault that like the situation is getting as dire as it is and I know she doesn't want to burden, burden him I know she doesn't want to ruin the trip but that's where this whole conflict comes in the first place is that there wasn't a there wasn't good communication between the both of them which is fine because we're, we're about to get some good communication here as Ichikawa runs to her but yeah this whole I'm so stupid I don't agree with that at all because I think he's really smart the way that he was able to put those pieces together uh, just from little bits and pieces of things that he's heard from people. And like, why wouldn't he think it's going to be a kiss? Real realistically speaking, there's nothing... Sure, the bits and pieces were there, but at the end of the day, yeah, that's what he would be thinking about. Would be a, a possible kiss between the two of them on their, on their school trip together. This, I love this line too. I love this line so much. I know how seriously she takes the work she does. He's seen it firsthand back in episode three, uh, an episode, I can't, it was not two of this season. I think it might've been episode four or five of this season where he saw her modeling work firsthand. He has seen several instances of how, how seriously she takes her work and everything of that degree. So he, he, yeah, if there's anybody who knows how seriously she takes her work, it is absolutely Ichikawa without a shadow of a doubt. This is for her favorite series, yeah. Let's go, Ichikawa. Because she knew I was looking forward to this. Wow. That's taking it all the way back to the finale of season one. Oh my god. All of those little details throughout the entirety of the series have built up to this moment. That is so good. That is such good writing that a detail from all the way back then, one small line that he said to her about the school trip, and then just the little details about how she picked out that he had the little pamphlet next to him, and she just did not want to like bring that down at all by not being there. She wanted to be there because he was looking forward to it so much. Oh man, it's so good how everything makes perfect logical sense. I love that so much. Like everything happening in, in this episode makes perfect logical sense in, in the sense that it was all of this was caused by a miscommunication. There's perfect logical reasons to why Yamada didn't tell him in the first place because of all the events that happened leading up to this, how she knew he was looking forward to it. It's just as a whole, everything here makes total sense. I want to talk tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think you're talking tomorrow. I think you're talking tonight. 
He <laughs> started with Kobayashi. No way she's going to usher Ichikawa into the girl's bedroom. No way that is about to happen. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think you're going to... <laughs> she got a whole human trapped under there. Yeah, what what is happening right now? You're you're joking. You're that was the episode. You're joking. Oh, you're joking. That was the episode. That was the episode. You're joking. You're joking. Oh no. That was that's got to be one of the worst cliffhangers ever. That has got to be one of the worst cliffhangers I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god. I have a grand feeling that a lot of people were hyping up something that's probably going to happen next episode because I didn't really get the feeling that what people thought was going to happen this episode, I, I don't think it happened. I could be wrong, but we didn't hit a huge climax in this episode. We're clearly going to hit that next episode. And so I, I, I think a lot of people were expecting to hit that climax in this episode, to which that didn't happen. At least that's just that's just my theory, my game theory, I guess. I have no idea where what's actually things are how things are actually supposed to pan out. But there were some really good moments in this one too. Like Ichikawa running got me. That was really good. But it just generally speaking didn't feel like I don't know. I'm not sure how to explain it, if that makes any sense. But people were hyping this episode up like crazy, like the biggest the biggest climax of the series was gonna happen in this episode, and it didn't. <laughs> it's clearly gonna happen next episode in the finale we'll just have to see how it all plays out okay uh yeah like i said i don't think this was the climax people were expecting in this episode from the way that it was hyped up i was definitely expecting like a major climax to happen like the climax of the second season and that did not happen so i'm assuming it's gonna happen next week in the finale because I, like i said i've talked with a lot of people in comments or discord and everybody was hyping this episode up to be the big thing and I don't think that big thing happened while, like, people were expecting it to. Uh, so it's probably gonna be in the finale next episode, but this was still a really good episode. Re a really good setup episode, which is interesting. There's not really a lot of setup episodes in this series. Most of them are go, 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 moving a million miles an hour in every single episode, but this was like the first real setup episode that we've gotten. It put a lot of the pieces together, the main conflict was realized, and now that conflict is going to be resolved next episode. I really like how, how they did this episode. Like I said, first setup episode I think we've got in the entire series. Uh, I'm excited to see how things play out. I talked extensively throughout the actual video, so I don't think I have too much to say here in the end of the episode discussion. Very good episode, and now I am even more excited for the finale next week as we navigate how the f Ichikawa is going to get out of being in the girls' dorms. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how this all plays out. Uh, but I think that is going to wrap it for my reaction to The Danger of My Heart Season 2, Episode 11. Nope, Episode 12. This is Episode 12. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.